Um, well, to get started, um, as Dale said, um, I work at Snuggie USA. I'm the um, controller, so I'm in the accounting department. Um, and so, one thing as we, um, um, so we just had a massive um, system change. We changed from GP 7.5. Yeah, we were old. Um, and then we started completely fresh, and we started um, on GP 2010. Um, and one of the things I learned how to do um, since our IT staff was so busy with so many other things, I was like, oh, I'll just figure out how to do the report. And so that's why I figured out the word report. Um, so that's a little bit about me. Um, and then I just kind of wanted to find out who we have in the room, so if we can go around <coughs> starting with Tim, so just say who you are, um, who you work for, and then the people that work in industry, just um, what you use to do your report. Here in the air for about eight years, and I primarily uh, focus on distribution. Jason Terry, I'm IT controlling USA. Um, you mainly use, like, currently, are using Apparatus as a provider for building building the Cool. I'm Sabrina Fryer. I'm also a trilling USA. Um, I'm, I do the receivables. I'm Judy Cosmo with Cloud Progresso, so I'm Sales Account Manager. Peeing at me with Crawford, Jack of all trades, and do everything here. <laughs> so is Nick okay. coming over today? Uh -huh. He's supposed to have met us Yeah, he's Oh, okay. Oh. He's always late. So, so what do you guys use to do your report? Do you know? Uh, we do FRS and... Report rate. Oh, here he is. We were just talking about you that you're always late. So why don't you tell them what DATC is? I don't sure everybody knows. I'm talking about very basic questions. Yeah, I know. we head back? Next over there. Okay. Oh, cool. I'm Nick from Crawford. I'm Nick Grant, uh, Campbell International. Um, we are pretty much for I think everybody knows me. I'm Rob Gillespie with Premier, and I'm the account manager for the GP Titles. I'm Dean Nina with Premier, uh, with the Albiet County. And uh, I'm also part time out there. Jared Knight here with Utopia. I'm responsible for all the outside bank construction and implementation. We've been used GP for a lot of our reports. Well, I can explain what Utopia is. I don't know if anybody knows that. Utopia is a uh, municipally owned open access infrastructure agency, so we support buyers in our communities and provide wholesale to service providers, which in turn provide use of this. So we're a fire office company that works in cities and we're trying to bring our fire to be service based and fire to basis internet for communication back all the way to Sorry, of course, we do talk you too, and I'm the county manager, and we're very close. And before, no. You don't use any of the GP ones? No, we're going to. Rob with Utopia, kind of heading up the project. And that's it. Mm -hmm. I'm Perry Larson, and it's a consultant here at Premier. And interested to uh, see all this uh, progress we're making. So, thank you. Okay. Um, so, I'm glad no one knows too much about Word templates, right? So, you won't know if I'm saying anything completely yeah. wrong. <laughs> so, it's a new feature, so there's not a ton of documentation on it. There is um, the, the user guide, which is like the Bible. This is how I learned it. Um, but it would have been helpful if I would have just been showed. Right now, just you might, uh, there's several people online as well, and there's oh. some people here that don't know that we have online. Okay. So she will be repeating um, comments for 
If we have we questions, go. you'll repeat that to the speaker there. <laughs> it's just our standard demo, just so you know what's going on there. And we do have several that are out there listening as well. So. Okay. Um, so just kind of as an overview of what we'll go over, we'll go over um, the GP reporting options that currently exist. Um, over, we'll go over how word templates work, um, what you need to have installed. Um, then we'll do the template configuration manager, the um, report template maintenance. We'll um, create and modify a report, and we'll see how it's used on transaction entry screen, and then we'll go over the print and email functionality. <coughs> so just some reasons why the templates are cool um, is there's 22 ready to use templates and some of this stuff is on the handout. Um, and um, the documents can be rendered in Word. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm a lot more comfortable in Word than some foreign application that you know you have to tweak and be extra careful with. So um, Word is a nice addition because you know how to you know, add a header and a footer and um, add colors and boxes and all the stuff that you want to do that's um, pleasing to the eye. Um, it utilizes the same print process and security. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't have to worry about setting up anything special. They just work and they work the way that your report writer ones do. Um, and you're also, um, it allows users to assign um, the word templates to pre-existing reports that you might already have established. So the reporting options that currently people use, and as we kind of went over as we went around the room, but there's Report Writer, and I don't know about you guys, but Report Writer is kind of hard for me to understand. It's, it's a lot of layering and kind of tricky to get things to fit right how you want it and get things lined up. and. I know our IT manager like hates them. So as soon as he was like found out that I was going to do it in Word, he's like, "Woo, no more for me." So, um, so there's Report Writer. There's SRS reports that um, some companies use. Um, Crystal reports, Excel reports. I mean, everyone kind of has their own thing. Um, but now um, GP has added the Word templates, which I think are a cool feature. Um, so just kind of a simplified version of how they work. Um, first you have to enable the templates in GP, um, and then you modify um, the templates in Word, put your logo on them, put your address, put whatever you need on them, um, and then you can use them and send to your customers and vendors. So first thing you want to do is have the reports enabled. And by default, I think with the installation, they're already enabled, but I'll show you how to do that in Great Plains. So um, as I discussed on the previous slide, this, um, the Word templates are available in like GP 2010 and on. I think there was some functionality in GP 10, but I don't think all of the functionality. And I never had that version, so I'm just going to talk about 2010 on. So this is in the template configuration. And you just, up at the top on your home screen, it's just under reports and template configuration. So from here, this box is what you want to have checked. It just enables the report template. The next box is um, allowing people to print the standard report when the template is enabled. If you don't want people to ever use the report writer one, if you uncheck that box, then they can only use the template. So um, if you want them to have the option to use you know, the pretty one or the standard one, however you want to do it, um, you can have those checked. Also available on the screen is enabling it for the companies that you might have within your databases. If you have several, um, this is where you can <coughs> enable them for one company or all companies. Um, you'll also see under each company, there's the main modules that uh, the templates work with now. I think probably in the future they'll add it to more things. But under sales, you have um, some of your, your SOP uh, reports, your invoice, 
your order, your quote, uh, your packing slip. These are all the ones that you can modify. This is on your handout too. So um, the one that I disappointed that's missing is the return form because we use that just the same as we use an order form. And so the return isn't one on here right now. And then under purchasing, um, you can do a, a check remittance. You can do your your purchase order. These ones that are listed here. Also on the screen is your images. So for each company that you have, you can select your logo that you want placed on it. So you don't have to every report that you do, it just will use that same logo. So what you do is just hit the plus sign and then just go find your image. Um, wherever it's saved. It's on your, your network driver wherever. So I just grabbed our Snug JSA logo and then I just put it in there for Fabricam. So if you were to change your logo, would you just change it in that one spot? Yeah. <clears throat> and if you want a different logo for different forms, you can do more than one. You can change it on the form level. Yeah. So like um, at the ones I did for Snugs, I was having a hard time getting the size just right. So I just did it on the form itself and didn't use the one that is the images. Does that make sense? So, because on the template itself, you can just type things or have images and words that you always want there. Um, and you can not use the default image that will come in. And you'll see that as we um, create one. But yeah. It's nice if you can get one perfectly sized um, so that it will come into your docu document the way you want it to look. Okay, and then we kind of went over um, these different options of the configuration manager. Okay. So now to create a new report, we're going to go back into GP and um, go into the template maintenance. And what you do here is I'll just jump back in. And you get to it the same way. You go to report, and it's the template maintenance. So from here. When you first start, you probably won't have anything in your drop down, but you can go to more reports. You can choose your series. If I wanted to do a sales document, your series is sales. And then your status of the report. So you can see all the ones listed here that were listed um, back on your configuration manager. So if you wanted to do an order form, you just open that. The, the first one you open, you can never modify it. I will say um, default, default templates cannot be modified. So, um, so you always have to do a new um, report from here. So you just click the new button. And then if you want to um, really challenge yourself and just start blank, you can choose blank. I've never tried that. Um, but the one I did is just I. I went from an existing template. So I took the standard out of the box one and then moved stuff around and added fields. So that's what I would suggest. Otherwise, you've got to add a lot of stuff on there. Um, then you can choose that and then you can name it whatever you want. Make it um, personal to your company so that you know it's <coughs> not the, the default one, so you know it's yours. And from here, you can see um, that it is not assigned to anything right here, and it's not the default. So if you create one and you're wondering why the old one is still printing, it's because it needs to be assigned to the company. It needs to be the default. So to assign it, just go to the assign. And you can assign it to all of your companies if you have multiple listed here. Um, What's nice is if you have multiple companies, you can have a different 